Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I would like to show you how to perform a PRN test print from your Mac um, onto your Virtuo, Virtuoso SG400 printer. Now, the PRN test print is used to determine if the problems you're having printing are in your printer or if they are in your computer. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to insert the thumb drive that came with your Virtuoso, open it up, and we're going to go to the SG400 folder, and we're going to go to Test Print. Now inside this Test Print folder there is a zip file. Um, we want to extract the contents of this zip file onto your desktop. Now this is expanding the zip file just by double clicking on it. Now it's created this folder on the desktop, on, in the same folder. You can actually run it from here. Um, you've got um, these photo files, but I do want to copy these onto my desktop. So I'm going to grab these two PRN files. I'm going to select, highlight both of them, select Edit, and Copy Two Items. And I'm going to click on my desktop and edit and paste two items. Now this is going to put the two PRN files on my desktop. Once I come here and look, you'll notice I have SG400PRN, uh, photo.prn, and SG400RGB.prn. Alright, the next thing I need to do is open a terminal window. Now to open terminal, you want to go to your finder, you want to go to applications, you're going to scroll down and open utilities, and then from here we're going to scroll down and we're going to run terminal. Now once terminal opens, we need to go to the desktop, so I'm going to type cd space desktop and so that I'm here. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we want to verify the name of our printer and set it as the default printer temporarily. So I'm going to click on the Apple logo. I'm going to go to System Preferences, Printers and Scanners, and I'm going to find my SG400 printer. Now, my, you'll notice the name I have here is just SG400. Yours may be listed as Sawgrass SG400 RPCS Raster Driver, or it could be any name but you want to verify the exact name of that printer. If you want to change the name to simplify it, you can just click, simply click on Options and Supplies and name it whatever you want to name it. Once you have your name set, we're going to come down here to Default Printer and I'm actually going to select SG400 as the default printer. Now I'm going to minimize this because we're going to come back to it. Now once you've done that and we're on the desktop, uh, we want to type LP space minus O space the word RAW, R-A-W, space, and then the name of the PRN that we're actually going to print. Now, as I, as I mentioned before, we have two different files here. The SG400 photo is a raster image that um, is formatted to tell you if um, you're having a problem with images or pictures or raster photo. The RGB is a vector image of a RGB color chart. Uh, this was created with CorelDRAW and this, um, if you're using Illustrator, you can use this RGB to determine if you're having a problem with vector images. Um, once you determine which one you're going to use, we're going to type SG 400 underscore photo dot PRN or you're going to type the name of which PRN you're going to do. Now one thing I'd like to point out about this command it is case sensitive so everything in the command you type is lower case but the, the name has to be exactly the same as how it is here. You'll notice I have a capital S and G and I have a capital P and everything else is lower case. Now once you've done this you're going to hit the enter key and you will get this message stating one file. Once you get that, um, it'll print out your test print. 
Now on this test print, um, when it comes out you want to look for print quality issues such as banding or um, any kind of oddness in the print, anything other than color issues. You want to notice that um, before you even try to press it. Uh, if you're seeing that at this point where you were seeing this from your computer, stop and give us a call. Uh, if everything looks good here, you want to sublimate it. Now once it's sublimated, you'll be able to determine um, from there completely if there's any issues, if the colors are wrong or right. Um, one thing I'd like to point out, if the issue does not show up on the PRN that you're having when you print, then your issues are either in your driver or on your computer uh, or in your settings somewhere. If the issue does appear on the PRN test print, then your issue is more than likely something with the printer itself. In any case, once you get the results, give us a call to 1-800-826-6332, option 2 for the first available tech, or send us an email to support at condi.com. Thank you.